When timeshare owners want to start renting their timeshare on Airbnb, they run into two problems. One, how to navigate their timeshare's rules, and two, how to use Airbnb. Like any new platform, there is a bit of a learning curve, but with practice, it gets easier and easier to navigate. Now, if you've owned a timeshare for a while, you should be pretty familiar with where things are, you know, how you pick the resorts and dates, and how you make a reservation. And when it comes to using a website to rent your timeshare, there are many to choose from. But to be honest, they all have their quirks. I talk to so many timeshare owners who tell me, I've scheduled this discovery call with you today because I tried to use Airbnb on my own, but when I ran into this or that problem, I stopped. And thank goodness they did, because when you're renting a timeshare on Airbnb, there are small mistakes that can easily be corrected, and then there are the big mistakes that you can't come back from. And I'd hate for your dreams of offsetting the cost of your maintenance fees with rental income to be snuffed out with one wrong keystroke. That's why I'm doing a workshop called How to Create Your Airbnb Listing the Right Way. It's specifically for timeshare owners, and if you're one of the first 20 to enroll, you'll also get my Timeshare Rental Insider Tips Cheat Sheet for your specific timeshare. Click the link below to get on the waitlist to be first notified when enrollment opens for my next workshop. This is Sue Oyuela wishing you all the best and timeshare rental success. Bye for now.